Hi guys, welcome to my January book haul. I got so many books this month, I'm pretty sure this might be the biggest book haul I've ever done on this channel. On a slightly less good note, I've been really struggling with my mental health recently, so you might notice a theme with some of the books. I just thought I would let you know. Um, but to make sure that the video ends on a positive note, um, I'm going to show you the books I got for Christmas, because I don't think I've done that yet. So make sure you stay and watch for that. Did that sentence make sense? I don't even know. One publisher in particular has sent me quite a few things this month, which I feel very lucky about. Um, I'm not going to show you everything because they did send a lot, but if you would like to see what they sent, it's all on my Instagram, at the Marlong Bookshelf. But I will show you a few things. The first of which is the Sketchbook Project World Tour. If you don't know what the Sketchbook Project is, it's basically where loads of artists do fill in the pages of a sketchbook and then the sketchbooks go on tour around the world. And my mum, who is an artist, topfloortreasures.com, um, she did one and we got to see it when it was on tour in London. It now lives in Brooklyn, but this is a book that basically shows loads of the sketchbooks so you don't have to go and see them on tour. He also sent me this really nice book of quotes um, with really pretty typography. I love things like this. As I said, you might notice a theme within the books that I got this month from different people and ones that I bought. This one is called No Worries and it's basically you write down whatever's worrying you and then it says can I do something about it yes or no if you pick yes it lets you write down a plan to sort out the worry if you put no it says time to move on and check back later and then the next page says what happened um, how I feel now and if the worry has gone it's no longer a worry you tear off the corner because the pages are perforated and so you can see at a glance um, that a lot of the things you worry about aren't worth worrying about and that they will sort themselves out. So I really like this. Um, I have used it quite a few times and I've only had it for about a week. So, yeah. <laughs> Lastly, this particular publisher sent me this lovely journal called 99 Things That Bring Me Joy. And basically it gives you prompts like 24 destinations you dream of visiting. So I've written down my answers there. It's just really nice. It it kind of makes you have a positive outlook. So, yeah. From a different publisher, I was sent Mind Your Head by Juno Dawson. And it's all about your mental health. And I haven't read it yet. I'm a bit worried too because of where I am right now. I have to say though, I really like the illustrations. They are by Gemma Coral. Corel? Coral, I think. Reasons to Stay Alive by Matt Haig. I bought this. And it was really good. Matt Haig struggles with anxiety and depression. And um, this is basically how he overcomes it. He hasn't overcame it completely. But it's about how he deals with it every single day. And how he's gone from a really dark place to a much better place. Where he's still dealing with his mental health issues but he's in a much better place. So I found this really interesting and insightful and it gave me a little bit of hope so I would definitely recommend reading this. For review, Egmont sent me My Life Next Door which I've actually already read. I read it last summer I think because I had the American edition but this is actually being published in the UK now so I think it's already out I think or maybe it comes out on like the 28th or something, I don't know. I think it's definitely out this month, January. Next, I was sent Sophia Bennett's new book, Love Song. I have loved her books since I started blogging. Um, this is out in April, so you've got quite a while to wait, but it is such a fun book. Basically, the protagonist, Nina, kind of isn't the biggest fan of a specific boy band, and then she ends up going on tour with them, so it's all about that. There's a lot of travel involved, a bit of romance, and it's just a really fun book. So when it comes out in April, make sure you grab a copy because I would love to know what you think. I won a book, and that book is Time Travelling with a Hamster. This sounds really fun. Um, it says, my dad died twice, but only the second time was my fault, which um, sounds quite intriguing. And with that, I also won an iPad mini, so that's cool. 
Um, I've always wanted an iPad, so now I have one. I've never won anything like that before, and I'm very happy with both of these things, so thank you to HarperCollins. The next book is a book I bought, but the thing is, I don't actually remember buying this. This does seem to be an American edition of a book, so maybe I bought it so long ago and it only just arrived because it's from another country, so maybe that's why I can't remember. But it's called Once Upon a Kiss, and it's by Robin Palmer, and it's basically about a girl who accidentally time travels, I think. I haven't read this yet, but that sounds quite fun. Next, Curious Fox Books sent me a massive box of books. There were 10 books in there, there was a whole packet of biscuits, which I've already eaten, and it was just such a lovely surprise. The first book in the box was Alex as well. Um, this is about a trans teen who is dealing with his gender and his parents who aren't really supportive of it. So it's all about um, Alex finding herself and um, discovering who she really is and trying to make her parents see that. I just realised I'm filming with my light on. No. That's so annoying. That's... why? I'm definitely losing my voice. I'm really sorry about that. It won't stop. I've tried to make my voice go back to normal and it's not. So sorry if that's annoying. But Curious Fox also sent me Diary of a Mall Girl. I actually read this a few years ago before it was published, I think. Um, because it was part of some online reading software thing. And I'm actually in the dedication. So it says, To all the readers whose votes and messages helped to shake up Molly's life. With special thanks to... And then it's got loads of names. And mine. It's a great book. I definitely recommend it. I always have. I also got The Serpent House. Which doesn't seem like something I would usually read. But it does sound really intriguing. This also looks really good. It's Baker's Magic. And it says, baking has its own magic. B makes it more magical. Again, really intriguing. I also got two books in a series. I'm not sure which comes first, but it's The Diamond Thief and The Ruby Airship. A lot of my friends have read this when it first came out, and I think most of them enjoyed it. So I'm going to have to give these a go. Also in the box was a book of masks, um, which is really fun. So it's got pages like this. See? Do you like my mask? I like my mask. I am fashion. I am the definition of fashion. They also sent me this, which is out in March. Um, I believe it's something to do with superheroes. I don't know. Yeah, it says, Lois Lane steps out from behind Superman's shadow in this fast-paced, high-adrenaline tale of intrigue and bravery. Okay, so it is something to do with superheroes. I'm useless when it comes to stuff like that. Um... Hopefully I'll be able to read this without knowing anything about Superman, hopefully. Um, but this is out in March and I'm actually quite looking forward to it. The last book from Curious Fox is Image and Imagination, um, Ideas and Inspiration for Teen Writers. This is such a beautiful book. It's got loads of images and um, prompts that can inspire bits of writing. And I'm really looking forward to filling this out. The next book I got from Chicken House, it unfortunately doesn't look like my kind of thing. It's called Beetle Boy, but what is cool about it is the sides of the pages. I don't know if you can see that. There's a close-up picture on my Instagram, um, but it's basically loads of coloured beetles. Um, and I've only ever seen books with coloured page edges. I've never seen an actual pattern, so that's really cool. I also got Consumed by Abby Rushton. This book is one I would usually be really excited about. Um, it's about anxiety and agoraphobia, which... Oh, and panic attacks, which you might know I struggle with. Um, but at the moment, I don't think it's something I can read. Lastly, for review, before I get onto the books I got for Christmas, I got Salt to the Sea. Um, I know this author is extremely popular, but I've never actually read anything by her. So I'm very excited about this. Um, I believe it's set in the war, which is something I'm interested in, and I love the cover, and I'm very much looking forward to reading this. Now on to the Christmas books, finally! The first book I got for Christmas was a complete surprise, I didn't know I was getting it, I didn't even know my parents knew I liked Miranda Sings, but they got me Self Health, which is an amazing title. Um, I've wanted this since she announced she was coming out with a book, and somehow... 
I have skipped a year of my life because I swear this was coming out in July this year and yet apparently it came out in July last year and I'm just really confused about it because it just completely passed me by so that's weird but this book is so funny um, I was laughing from the first page and it's exactly what you would expect from Miranda Sings. I actually got quite a few YouTubers books um, for Christmas. The next one was Username Eevee. Um, this is actually signed which is really cool. Um, wait a second, there it is. Lastly for YouTuber books I got The Amazing Book Is Not On Fire. Their book is really good. It's quite long and there is a lot of stuff in here so God knows how long it took them to put that together, but um, it's really well done. So, if you're a fan of them, you probably already have the book, but if you don't, go and get it. I got some other books for Christmas, but I can't actually find them, so I'll just tell you what they were. Um, I got Post Secret, which is an amazing book um, where people artfully wrote their secrets on postcards and sent them to this address, um, where they were then compiled into a book. So basically it's just a book full of anonymous secrets that are really beautifully presented. In the same kind of category as that, I got Humans of New York, which I've been following on Facebook for years, but I didn't realise they had a book. So again, I was very excited to get that. It's exactly what you'd expect. It's loads of really pretty pictures of complete strangers um, with a quote from them about their life or what they've been through or stuff like that basically and it's a really good book. I also got Calm by Michael Acton Smith I think his name is um, and it's basically got loads of pretty quotes and typography um, and also some tips on dealing with anxiety so obviously um, that was a good thing to get and I really liked it. What else did I get? Oh yeah I got a guidebook for Brooklyn just because I currently am a bit obsessed with New York City and um, I just wanted it. Also, if you watched my previous video about my novel, you will know that it is kind of set in New York. I don't think I got any more books for Christmas, so that is the end of this month's book haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment below with what books you got this month. And I will see you next week with another video. Bye!